Hey guys, Coach Glenn here from Tennis Gym. Uh, coming to you today with arguably the best core exercise, and I hate using that word core, but ultimately that's what it is. Uh, it's your trunk, and this particular movement teaches you how to use your entire body as one unit. Uh, so it is a personal favorite of mine. We're looking at the full get up, and uh, before I get into it, do me a favor. Uh, click on that uh, like and subscribe button. That way you'll see some of our stuff as we continue to put content out for y'all. With the get up, we start on the ground. Um, whatever side the weight is on, that knee will be bent. And that is so that, since this is all connected, if we push through that foot, it allows us to drive over to allow our non-weighted hand to help us push up. So if I'm pushing to that leg, brings me up to that arm, allows me to continue to move forward. The name of the game here is not speed. You've got to look for slow and smooth. So grip it on your kettlebell and pretend that it's 100 pounds no matter what the weight is. So roll over to it, pull it in, bring it to that front rack position, and then you can use two hands to press it up. Weighted side has that bent knee. We're going to push through that foot driving the weight up we're allowed to use that base hand to help us coming forward then we'll plant through the bent leg and the bracing arm bringing the hip up the higher you bring the hip up the more room you have to scoop that leg back behind you once you're here you're going to shift your weight back into your hip allowing you to get vertical and when you do so now is when you take your eyes off of that weight and you look forward all right from here it's an overhead lunge up right back down we'll step back with the opposite leg from the weighted side we're going to hinge over reaching for the floor as soon as that hand touches the ground you're going to keep your eyes on the weight we send that leg back forward putting your butt down and it's tempting just to let gravity take you at this point but you want to come back from hand down to elbow from elbow down to shoulder and then laying flat once you're here now we can Bring that weight down, place it to the ground. All right. Main reason you want to treat that kettlebell like it's 100 pounds no matter what it weighs is because this sucker is cast iron. It is a cannonball above your face. If you don't respect it, it can do some damage. All right? Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that helps.